Legends, I hope you're all fantastic. Today we're going to check out the new Polysynth algorithm for the Eventide H90. You just heard it in the intro blended in parallel with my main dirty guitar on there. What I'm going to do is just run through a few factory presets of just the Polysynth. Then I'm going to dial in a preset from scratch and explore the parameters available to us. Uh, a very, very brief overview though, you have three synth voices in here with their own level control. You can set the wave shape per voice, the amount of shift per voice. You can set up a mono, poly or hybrid play style. There is a freeze function. There's a pitch wheel that you can set up to an expression source or the inbuilt hot knobs. There's built in detune. There's an envelope controller, which is mapped to the filter cutoff, as well as a built-in LFO that can be assigned to different destinations. I think to get started, we should just hear some factory presets in here. We'll start with this analog bass. This one is squelchy and pretty glorious. <laughs> That one's filthy and glorious, especially with some pitch fuzz on there. This next combination that I've got on here is the pulse width modulation strings factory preset combined with some black hole reverb. I'll let you hear the factory preset on its own. You can see the LFO destination is set to PWM or pulse width modulation. I'm gonna play around with the cutoff and resonance on the filter as well. Let's just hear it on its own, playing some chords again, because this is polyphonic and then I'll blend in some of that awesome black hole reverb. You can also get some organ style sounds. I grabbed this preset off the forum. Awesome work, Tony. I've been having so much fun with this one. If you head over to the preset library and take a look at Polysynth, there are even more presets in here. I'm just gonna scroll through them. You can see that they are all gonna load into preset slot A, and I'm gonna have that black hole sound on all of them as well.
There's also a freeze function available on here that you can map to a foot switch. This is what I was doing in the intro. Let's go to this celestial strings program that I put together. I was gonna play a chord, then I'm gonna hit the freeze button and it will sustain indefinitely. I have particularly been enjoying that freeze function for the sort of stuff that I played in the intro, running it in the loop of my axe effects, having it parallel to the main sound and just generating some lovely synth chords on the fly that I can solo over there. Let's create a patch from scratch now on here so that I can give you an overview of the parameters. I did want the first half of this video to really just focus on the sounds. If you've got an H90, you can go and update it and play around with all those sounds. They are just factory presets that are either as is or I've just modified them very slightly. But let's start off with a classic subtractive synthesis style patch in here. Mix at 100%, I've got the cutoff at 100 and the resonance at zero. So basically the filter is out of the chain. The LFO and envelope are all zeroed out on here. Spread is at 100, detune is at zero. All the shifts are at unison, levels are all at 60 on here. And as you can see, the shapes are all set to a saw wave. So after playing around with this for a little bit, basically if you've got the spread at 100, voice one will be on the left, voice three will be on the right, and voice two comes down the center on here. So let's just have a listen to what this sounds like. Initialize, you can see I've got the play style at poly. Let's turn that all the way up to mono. So I'm just gonna use it like a mono synth. <laughs> Now, if I take it to poly, I can play some chords. It doesn't sound too special at the moment. What I'm gonna do is for shape two, I'm gonna change that to a square wave. And I'm also going to take the shift two all the way down an octave on there. This is what we have now. It's got a little bit more texture about it and that low octave certainly sounds nice and thick, but it really comes alive when you add some detune. Let's turn that up, say just above 20. What we can do now is add a little bit of filtering. I'm gonna take the cutoff to around 80 and I'm going to increase the resonance to around 40 on here. This is what we have. Next, let's add some modulation. We will start off with the envelope. This gets mapped to the filter cutoff. So I'll set the amount to around 13 and I'll have the sensitivity up quite high. I'm gonna pick softly and then I'm gonna pick a little more intensely. <laughs> We can also add some LFO modulation on here. What I'm gonna do is set the LFO destination to pulse width modulation, and let's bring in the LFO amount to around 50. This is gonna add some nice movement. I can then play around with the LFO shape.
What I can do from there is play around with the overall attack on the synth. If you want more of a kind of swell pad, turn the attack up somewhere above 200 milliseconds and then lather it with some time-based effects in here. We'll hear it with this headspace algorithm. I really like it with some of the big lush reverbs in there. Let's try that. That's really, really lovely on there. Brings to mind those kind of mid 70s to early 80s synth sounds. Now with the shapes, you've got a choice of saw, square, wide pulse, narrow pulse, and triangle. You can go an octave down to an octave up on each of the voices. The play style on here goes from polyphonic to hybrid all the way through to mono. So that is a really critical parameter in there depending on how you're playing your guitar you're going to want to experiment with that particular parameter you can also set up the release for the freeze parameter on there and we've got a nice fluffy cat right here who highly approves of all these tones this is a <laughs> a very good indication that it's probably time for me to finish up the video when well, you got some nice fuzzy cat butt in here regardless uh, anyway that's what I've been doing with the Polysynth algorithm in here. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you're an H90 user, you can go and download and enjoy this. Furthermore, you would notice in the release notes that they are about to add Bluetooth functionality to the unit, which a lot of people have been asking about. And I think that is pretty awesome, isn't it, Nagini? Do you like that? Do you like that? Should you say to all the people that they should uh, like and subscribe and then also check the video description for some free stuff and some various ways that they can support what I'm doing. I'll give you a blast of that thing you heard at the beginning with some cat butt. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. What on earth could be so fascinating? Ah, you'll like the cables. This is going to be interesting.